Hi, it's Dom again. Well, today we are going to be painting a toilet seat cover. Yes, you did hear right. My mum bought a new one, and um, it was slightly smaller than the existing one to make it look more like a, a kiddie seat than an adult seat. Uh, my dad complained after I installed it that it was too small and decided that he wanted the original one back. But my mum liked the picture of the dolphin on the seat cover, so instead of um, doing those dolphins, I actually thought I'd paint a different one, purely because she attempted to dismantle the seat cover so you've got the top and the bottom and stick the actual seat cover from the top on top of the existing seat which just seemed a bit weird and I don't think anybody ever does that so um, yeah I, I, I'm, that fell off and I thought well the best thing to do is uh, I'll attempt to paint a picture on it and um, if all else fails and it comes out crap then I can always respray it white and uh, that should be fine um, I did consider sublimation but then the seat being kind of plasticky, I was afraid that it might melt at the high temperatures that you have to have for sublimation. So painting was really the only option for me to do, you know. And um, I don't really paint pictures as such. I draw and I sketch, um, but I don't paint pictures. I paint models and stuff because that's easy. I can paint it one colour. But yeah, this was going to be a bit of an experience for me anyway, so I thought I'd share it with you guys. Now, I did have a, um, a little bit of a tutorial. There's somebody on the on YouTube called Angela Anderson who did this precise picture of a uh, scenery in a dolphin, which to me looks a little bit like the uh, Microsoft XP background, if you look at it. Um, I followed her guide and it didn't come out exactly the same. I, I kind of changed bits and pieces just to make it my own. Um, Plus, it was just easier for me just to uh, keep the colours as simple as I could uh, in some instances. And um, with regards to the dolphin, I decided to use somebody called Lethal Chris. I saw how he was doing it. Now, it's not come out quite the same, but uh, you know, it was a good. It was. A, it was. You know, it did help me. So um, yeah, big shout out to the, those guys. And I'll put the links to their YouTube channel in the description. Don't forget, if you like this channel and you like some of the stuff that I do, hit like and don't forget to subscribe. This is how we got on.
Thank you.